Hello everyone, I am Dan Biha and I'm here to teach art to children around the world. My name means rain, which is needed by the dry land. As you take this art class, I hope you expect some rain to be passed on to you. I am going to give art lessons from 1 to 12. And I'll tell a series of stories little by little. Please remember these stories because they are connected to each other. Now I'm going on a story trip with this girl today. Are you ready? So let's go on the story trip together. A girl was having fun outside her house. While she was playing, she found a butterfly. The butterfly was so pretty that she played wherever the butterfly flew. She was having so much fun that she lost the way back home. The child cried sadly in the street. She cried and said, is there anyone here? I lost my way. Please answer if there's anyone. Please help me. She said this, but there was no one around. What did you hear in the story? The girl is lost and she can't go back home. What should she do? Why don't we try drawing a girl who is having fun before she gets lost today? Does that sound all right? So let's prepare the materials first. These are colored pencils. When you open it, there are various colors. From these colors, I picked orange. I'm going to draw the girl's face body and legs in orange. So let's draw together. Let me first draw a round face for the girl. I'll draw a circle like this and I'll draw the bangs in the circle. I'd like to draw a bunch of hair next to this small circle. One, two, three, four, five. And draw a drop six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, the hair is beautifully braided. And let's draw a face. I'll make pretty smiling eyes and I'll draw the nose down and very short. Now I'll draw the mouth with a convex shape. You draw it too, please. Isn't the face smiling prettily? Yes. Then draw the neck with a small square like this. The torso can be drawn down so that the shoulders are rounded. Draw a curve to the side and bring it down. Then let the two sides meet. Shall we draw the arm next? Draw the arm out of the shoulder as if drawing a long bob. Draw a rectangle on the side too. And I'll draw the fingers. We have two ways of drawing fingers. This time, I'll show you an easy way, and next time, I'll show you another way. First, draw the palm as a circle. And if you draw little ovals, one, two, three, four, and five, they become fingers. It looks like a flower. 
Would you like to draw here too? And then draw a skirt. Draw the skirt down long and make the two sides a little round to meet each other. Then mark some pleats on the skirt like this. And let's draw some ankles. The ankle should be drawn like a small square so that it peeks out slightly under the skirt. And the shoes can be drawn like a circle as a long oval. We've already finished the girl. Is it difficult? Then let's color the background. I am trying to draw various lines in the background. Now I'll draw a convex line like I used to draw the girl's eyes. Now I change to yellow. Doesn't it look like a wave? And I'll change the color and also make a wave at the bottom. Here too, let's draw a convex line at the bottom. a convex line underneath in purple. Do you want me to color it? Then think about where you're going to color first. I want to color the face first. You can color the parts you want to color. I'll pull out the uh, apricots and color the face, neck, and wrists. So I'll color the face first, and then the neck and hands. I'll color this hand. Please color the ankles like this. Yes, let's color the hair next. I'll color the hair brown. Just color like this, and you can color the hair any color you want to. Oh, please color the bangs too. Yes, and then color the ribbon red. Then let's color the clothes. What color should we use? I'll try to color the top yellow. I'll color the top and then color this side a different color and color the bottom yellow. color the center green. That's because I want to use various colors. So it's a lot more beautiful. And I colored the arm yellow green, so I'll color this arm yellow green too. Next we have to color the skirt. I'll try coloring the skirt pink. Ah, the skirt is getting really well filled in with pink. I think 
you could put a pattern that you really like on the skirt. Yes. And I'll color the shoes last. I'll color them sky blue. The shoes are sky blue now. So this time, I'll color the background with pastel. If we open the pastels, we can see these small rectangular pastels. Aren't there many? You can choose the colors you want and color the background. I'll use yellow and pink. Please rub it like this with the yellow first. It's so soft. Some powder is coming out. Then rub the powder with your hands like this and it will soak into the sketchbook very smoothly. This way, rub it so it's smooth. Then I'll put some pink under here. And I'll rub it in with my hand. Wow, I guess the colors of the colored pencils have changed a little bit. And I'll mix the yellow with the pink. When you mix the colors, look and see what kind of colors come out. Yes, I think the girl looks happy now that the background is complete. Okay, everything is done. So how was your class today? Do you feel sad because we started with a sad story? But just wait until next time. This story is going to be fun. If you have any friends who ever need help like this, please go and help them. You will feel your heart getting warm. So please look forward to next time. Goodbye, everyone!